We're back. Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, as always, let's go ahead and get started. I have to get to her biology class. But before I do, let me go ahead and take a sip of this motherfucking peach tea, baby. And you know what's next? I gotta get vexed by these bar nuts. Yum, yum, yum. Let me go ahead and get a second handful, baby. Um. Go over here, grab some more of that tea. They really gotta start giving us breakfast, man. Cause this shit is getting ridiculous. Let me see what's all over here. What's up, what's up, what's up? Revelio. Let me see, not a damn thing. What's that back there? Something far. Whatever. That dude's knocked out. There's a chest right here. It is house chest. Can't touch it. All right, so whatever the fuck that is, I can't get to it. It's a big ass, big ass rug. Just checking everything out a little bit, you know what I mean? I'm Shan. Checking it out, checking it out. All right. Wait a minute. Uh, grab one of these shrimp apples. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. What's this? Oh, that's nobody. Let's get to her biology class so I can learn me a new spell blast. Oh, oh, got my new robe on, got my Kango on. I hope to God there's like a better hat in here. Because if anybody knows me, they know I'm rocking my hat. What the hell is this? Enter. Enter what? Oh, shit. What the fuck is this? Nice. Hold on, was that from my wand? I think it was. It is, ooh, nice. This one is a fantastical bold handle designed in starry blue and brass topped with a model planet. That's cool. But this one, yeah. I like that one. Yeah. All right. Where the fuck am I at? What is this place? Revelio. Yeah, that's just that thing. Is that a door? Can I go out this door? Nope. <laughs> Can I go out this door? I can't. Oh shit, where am I? What in the hell? All right, Hogwarts. All right, Hogwarts. Uh, any motherfucking way. Wait, is that that? Is that up there? Is that where I was just now? Uh, no, there's nothing up there. Anyway, let's oh, go to the Then to Revelio up in here. Still have no idea what this does. Anyway, what the hell is this? Can I Accio? Can I Leviosa? Can I light this motherfucker up, Blaze? Yeah! Okay. Be on the lookout for those. Gotcha. Anything over here? I feel like all I do is run for a second, stop, and hit Revelio. I swear. That's where I saw that punk ass clown. I hate that clown. Let me see. Spin this. I have to live in... Oh, Budapest. I'll go live in Budapest. I fucks with Budapest. You think over yonder? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Let's uh, take our mandatory stop and look at the scenery. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Look at my guy. <laughs> If I saw him at Hogwarts, I'd be like, wow, that's a weird looking motherfucker. <laughs> anyway. Right through here, let me see. There is. Who is this down here? Who is that down here? Is that still that boy? Is that still that boy? Is he still down here? This is the way I'm supposed to go anyway. Her biology class is that way. 
I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small uh, project. Let's hear it, Duncan. You wanted to speak with me. I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Mm -hmm. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. I'm famous. Mr. fucking Hobhouse. <laughs> Why, thank you. Let's see, I've had some good luck. Uh, I've had some good luck. I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class. Boggarts. Well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a, a puff skin. Puff skin? Like foreskin? That can be scary. Uh, what's to be scared of? Are you afraid of your own shadow too? Uh... They're adorable. Why would you be afraid of a puff scheme? They seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. Oh, wow. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. <laughs> I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. Oh. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. Garlic? It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Ah. What sort of plants should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? Motherfucker. I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? No. If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. For sure, uh, Pumpkin Duncan, whatever the fuck you said your name was. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. Hmm. It seems closer than the main mission. Unless I'm tripping. Let me bring my map up. Let's see. I gotta go to there. That's there, huh? You know what? Let me do this first. Let me go to the actual herbology class first. Then I'll fuck with a little pumpkin dumpkin. Know what I mean? I'm sure. Yeah, there's something over here, ain't it? There's the fountain. Yeah. I'm getting closer. Then I go back here to this. Then wait. Can I hit Revelio? Revelio. No. Then who the The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Hey, it's Nelly Oxpire. Hello, Nelly. You seem excited about something. The Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Nope. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. Oh, I. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. Nice. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Hmm. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. Yeah, fuck He's peeves. He's a poltergeist. <laughs> I thought they could go almost anywhere. Fuck peeves. I hate peeves. Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, uh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. For sure. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find. Okay. If anything. Okay, little bitch. What's through this door? Uh, ain't that that thing that man was looking forward to? Ain't that this right here? Oh no. 
It looks like I gotta go live in... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's... I'll just say Japan. That looks like Japan almost. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What the fuck you looking at, bitch? What the hell? Because I'm black and dapper? Racist, bitch. Anyway. Find the... Uh, oh, no, I'm not going that way. All right. Let me go back and retract my quest. There we go. Is it becoming nighttime? Is the sun setting? This game does that? See, I thought it just switched to like, uh, I thought it only switched to nighttime during certain missions. I didn't know you could just fucking go to night. Holy shit, there ain't nobody in here right now. Pop that. Rebellion. Don't hear shit, so let's keep going. That's a fountain, that's a lock, that's a chest. That is a bunch of nothing. I don't know what the fuck down there. Am I going to herbology class at night or will it just, uh, you know, switch over to daytime once the cutscene happens? This goddamn door up. Right there, baby. I see you. Rebellion. Not bad, not bad. What the fuck is this? Oh, flu flame. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Ditney leaves? Sure. I have no idea what the fuck a Ditney leave does, but I'll take it. That's locked. That's locked. Where the fuck are we? This is a nice ass place. Guess I'm going over here. Alright. Oh, yeah. You got me sitting on the fucking floor again like a. Like a clown. I hate that shit. Rebellion. There's something in here, alright. There's something in here, alright. Anyway. Oh, is that the professor? Hey, look, cutie. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Hey. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Hey. We do look forward to growing together. Oh, Professor How Garlic. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacula than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Accio, baby, that's right. I already Let's know that see if one. We can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> oh, for sure. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Hiya! Oh, yeah! I remember those little dudes from the movies. Get your ass in there. Good lord. Loud ass fucking potato. <laughs> Loud the ass potato. Envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. <laughs> dirty blanket. Nice. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Yo, I am smitten by a cute little Professor Garlic, man. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. Okay. You can all get started. Rebellion. Something there. What's up, uh, Ravenclaw? The best 
time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. You know what? That's actually some good advice. What about you, little Huff Puff? I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. Hey, you leave my boy Figman alone. Don't you dare. What's, what's this? What can I do with this? Can I... Accio. No. Can I... Leviosa. No. Can I... Incendio. Nope. Okay. That's just lit up for no reason then. Rebellio. There's something in here. I hear it. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Hey, shut the fuck up. Can't climb that. Hmm, nothing in here. Okay, let's... Wait, 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 wait. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. Ain't that natty? It look like natty. My cousin was transfigured into a mouse. Take some of those. Took hours to get her to come out from under the bed. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. <laughs> Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep? Yep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. That's right, baby. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Really? Because I saw Let's some see. fucking people in the beginning of this game this make rain and fancy or roses. all type of wild shit. Let me see. Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Disney seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Oh, okay. Thought I could get her number or something. Dittany's restorative properties make it a Potting vital table ingredient unlocked. in the Wiccan okay. potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Dittany, the leaves of this medicinal herb are used in Wiganwell potion. Dittany seeds can be purchased at the Magic Neep and can be grown in pots of any size. Gotcha. Ten minutes for sure. Done. Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. Ooh, I like cabbage. That some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. <laughs> dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Got you, little baby. I got you. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. For show, sure, Leander. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Thank you, Leander. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have. If Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. <laughs> we griff. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Oh no, I'm Go still on. collecting all type of shit. Oh no. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Don't worry. Nurse Blaney put it back on. I'm fucking. I'm fucking. Through that. Grabbing all this shit. Hold on. All right, that's pretty much all the grab. <laughs> now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. 
they'll do the rest. How the fuck do I do that? Hold the left button and tap the right stick. Oh. And the sign of Chinese chopping cabbage. Okay. So if I press less button. Oh Look shit. Them anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? Hell yeah. My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. <laughs> the kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. I want some booba tubers, hold on. It alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Hmm. I suppose they could come in handy, sure, but that's just a dummy. I was imagining it already. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls and hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. You know what? Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Uh. Revelio. I hear something here, my boy. I hear something. Oh, right there. I got you. Yeah. Revelio. Give me that goddamn page. Of 25? Good lord. Let's do here. Oh, that's just that. Okay, okay, okay. What's down here? If anything. Revelio. Revelio. I'll collect that. See some more up here. I'll go ahead and collect that. Uh nothing. Oh shit. I can swim? Hell yeah. Thanks for letting me know that, Vigi Game. Anyway, what's down here? Revelio. Uh, oh shit, what's this? Not a damn thing, gotcha. This boy right here. Don't do nothing, can I fire him Incendio. up? Oh. Can I hit him with that? Hit him with that. Don't do a damn thing. Okay, one of these days we're gonna find out what those uh, eyeball chests are for. Will it be in this episode? Maybe, hopefully. I do not know. Run, boy. What's through this door? What's over here? Revelio. Not a damn thing, okay. reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves i shall end our lesson i tended to the chinese chomping cabbages professor remarkable plants aren't they i hope they weren't too much trouble oh don't see any bite marks or missing digits and good as you do seem to be quite green fingered oh i'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom that's right baby i got them green fingers up in that soil what you talking about Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Oh, for show. Sure. Oh, for show. Sure. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Shut the Only hell up. Only cost me my damned hearing. <laughs> Only cost me my damn hearing. Okay, let's see. New quest available. Let's check it out. Potions class. Yeah, I got a bunch of this shit right here. Good lord. Let's see. Professor's assignments. Potions class. Go meet up Natty so she can take me to those other places. Uh. No. What the hell is this? Find and enter the hidden herbology corridor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, find the third landmark. 
cross wands, uh, spell combinations. You know what? Let's go and finish this one. Now I mean, now I'm saying, let's finish that one up. Cause I feel like I've had this one for a minute. Let's 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 focus on clearing up some of these side quests. You know what? Let me see if I can flew on over there. Is that what I'm doing? No. I am on this, right? Where the hell y'all got me going? Am I not tracking that mission or not? Let me see. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that leak. Where the hell am I going? Open this damn door. Okay, I was here. That's just Nelly Augspire again. You know what? Let me pull this up. What's in my inventory? Oh, yeah, some seeds or whatever. Alright, where's that damn map? Let's see. I saw the rhino. I saw... The fucking dragon. I went through the door. I gotta... What? Find this? This picture of this house with some snow on it? Got you. It should be through that door. Close that up. Close that up. Thank you. Alright. It's looking like it's through here. And there should be... That's that. Level lock. Okay, fuck you then. There should be a house. Spin that. I gotta go live in. Oh, Japan, yet again. Northern Morse Park. I fuck with Northern Japan. This stabo looks promising. Does it? I don't see shit on this stairwell, homie. Wait, let me go back up. Let me follow the yellow dots. This looks like the portrait from the map. It is, motherfucker. And where's the treasure? How do I do it? How do I do it? Rebellion. Repair. That does nothing. Accio. There we go. Oh shit. <laughs> There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. Wow. Nice. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Return to Arthur Plumley. Gotcha. Yo, that was dope as fuck. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie. Where's my boy Arthur Plumley at? Is that him? No. Oh, he's right here. So, do I not have no flu flame over here? Really? Not a single, wait, wait, I clicked on the wrong thing. There we go. I'll click on that boy. See, all right, where you at, Arthur? Where you at, Arthur? Where you at, Arthur? What have you learned? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever. Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shoot me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. <laughs> what did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky. Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Yeah. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. For sure. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's on might build anything <laughs> Oh, kitty cat! And kitten kittens. Rail. And kitten kittens. Rail, rail, rail. Kitty cat, rail. What the fuck is this room? Yeah, and they're smoking? Rebellion. Yeah, I hear smoking dope. Let me see. I have got to live in. Is that Santa Monica, California? Okay. Do loot do. All right, let me see that. Did I not get a new robe? 
Is that not what just happened? Did I not get a... Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's badass. Oh, that is badass. Let me see that weak-ass cape. No, thank you. Oh, my lord. Yeah, go ahead and put that on. Let me see. If I can change things. If I take the scarf off. Nah, not the scarf off. Let me see. The big Lenny Kravitz. That black thing. I like that Gryffindor one. That one a little bit too big. That one's better. No. No. I'll throw that one on. For sure. Am I not wearing my gloves? Where's my gloves? Red boys. There we go. Yes, sir. All right. Collection. There's nothing in here that I've already seen a thousand fucking times. Let's go to quest. What is this? Apology. Cross ones. Cross ones. Uh. Let's go to herbology first. Let's track that one. That's telling me to go way to hell over here. Do I not have a flu flame? And yeah, I'm about to say. There we go. What are you up to now? You talking to me? Excuse me. Wait, what's that over there? What is that? Is that where I'm supposed to be going? I believe so. That's the potions class. Or maybe it's just telling me to go that way because that's the way I'm supposed to go. Yeah, all right. All right. Guess I'm going all the way around, big dog. Got my new all white on, baby, yeah. Can't go hat on still, yeah. Somebody up there, I'll go talk to you later. I'm on a mission to find the Herbology Kyle's Rebellion. Not a damn thing. Was that suit of armor just coughing? There should be some right. Yeah. Revelio, the broken broom, love it. Oh yeah, oh shit. Level 11, baby. Whoa. I swear, I see something new every time I play this damn game. Anyway, glad to go. Hey, what's up, y'all? Two Slytherins, what up, Slytherins? Anyway. Like, I know y'all probably watching this game and hate how much I get sidetracked, but it's so hard to not get sidetracked in this game. Trees are alive. Oh, shit, my bad, my bad. Good lord. Give me that goddamn page. Whoa, that huff puff just disappeared on me, baby. Rebellion. I hear something. I hear something. Anyway. What's this? I gotta go down again? Let me go down again then. Go through here, go through here, down these stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go ahead and light that. Hi, ya! Didn't even work. Didn't even light. Whatever. I'm looking. There's something over here. There's some over here. These sure. dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Ooh. I'm trying to use it. Incendio. I'm trying to use it. Okay. Something I gotta backtrack to. Gotcha. Hiya! Light that shit on fire. Enter the hidden herbology corridor. Oh shit. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Obviously, Stedman. Repair. Okay, can't repair that. I just gotta walk through it. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. 
Oh, okay. Let me see. I would need to Lumos. I'll trade that for a repair room. Gotcha. Lumos. Gross. Devil snare. Gross. Can I hop over this? Hi ya. Huh. Little door right here. What's up here? What is up here? Okay, that's the way to go. I can't do nothing with that. I'm pretty sure I can. Incendium. Light that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means I can light that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means I can light that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, there's a chest over there. Can I run and jump over there? Or can I grab it over here? Akio. No. I'm gonna have to run and jump. Hell yeah. Silver wooden spectacles. Gotcha. Can I not drop down? Is there fall damage? Will I die? <laughs> I guess motherfucker just walked right across it. I didn't even have to run and jump. Anyway. Lumos. Can go through there. Hop over that. Excuse me. I'm supposed to go that way, but can I repair this? What is this one? Oh, yeah, that's the one where they can't see me. Gotcha. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. place that one. Repair. Oh no, devil snare. Lumos. Am I just supposed to hit this? Lumos. How the fuck do I get past this? Repair. No. Lumos. Uh, fire. Incendio. There we go. Seems the devil's snare was protecting a chest of some kind. There you fucking go. Can I light that on? I can. Incendio. Light that up. Lumos. We gonna go ahead and light. I can't do it in the in the, in the water. Incendio. Light that up. Didn't work. Come on. There we go. Hiya. I go over here. Light that one up. There we go. Hiya. Turn this motherfucking light on in here. Too damn dark in here. Ooh, I got a bloom scarf. Whatever the fuck that means. Rebellion. That's where I'm going. And yeah, get the fuck out of here. Ugh. Fucking up my white robe. Incendio. Light that up. There we go. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. <laughs> Incendio. Light that up. Light that up. There we go. Turn this motherfucking light on. It's too damn dark in here. Turn this motherfucking light on. Ooh, what's this? Monies? I like monies. Incendium. Lumos. Let me see. Just making sure ain't shit else in here. I'm just making sure ain't shit else in here. Stick to the greenhouse. Incendium. Okay. I ain't going there yet. Lighting all that shit up. There we go. There we go. Lumos. And then. Can I. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Gotcha. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, we're back, baby. What's this? Woo! <laughs> Thought that shit was coming after me. Take all of that. Okay, return to Duncan. Uh, is he right here? He should be like right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it matters which way I go. Through the dough, open that fucking dough. This place is crazy at night. To finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Hey, yeah, open this motherfucking door up. Ugh. Revelio. Nothing. Any shit out here. My boy have Duncan. Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? I have, you scary Hello, little bitch. Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. 
I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Uh, actually, I might just keep this. Uh, no, nah, happy to help take it. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in dunking for good <laughs> when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Mm, Puff Thank King you again, King. and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more You're welcome, Duncan. Dunking for me. Okie dokie, let's see. Have we got two more side quests to do? Let's see. This one is... Cressida Bloom has a lofty problem with her literature. Talk to Cressida. Uh, maybe in a second, Cressida. Maybe in a second. This is... Yeah, talk to Lucan. Talk to Lucan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything over here? That's just a flu flame. Anything over here? Just some flu flame. What about over here? No, no, no. What was that? Uh, no, that's just, uh, yeah. Okay, so. Wait, where the fuck was Cressida at just now? Let's go talk to Cressida then. Just because she's right here. Let's go talk to Cressida just because she's right here. And then we can knock out those two, uh, training with Lucans at the same time. Oh, Cressida, you weird ass little bitch. Wait, what's this? I really have made a mess of things. Hi it's a Love it. Alright. Is everything alright? Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. What? You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that. And now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. Wow, that's amazing. Seems a lot of work to carry some books. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Five books. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. Hmm. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. A if you word? could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Oh shit, okie dokie then. That's, uh, I was right there. Let's go right here then. Booyah, bitch. Open his door. Booyah, bitch. I'm going to have to use that to get those books. Got yeah. it. Only four more to go. Yeah, I know. Let's go, bitch. I just saw one over here. Where'd you go? Rebellion. I just saw one of them damn books. Wait, is that one over there? I see you. Hiya! <laughs> Punk motherfucker. Wait, let me get this flu flame. There we go. How nice to see you, my young friend. Let's go up these stairs. Let's go up these Rebellion. stairs. I see one. There's something like right here too, ain't it? Yep. I'll grab that. And then I see these over here. Yeah! Give me that. Let's go, bitch. Yeah! 
That was a page, never mind. I see you. It's right there from over here. Got him. Crest of this book, and there's one more right here. I see it. It's down there. I see it, baby. It's right down there, baby. Get your ass down these stairs, boy. I see you. Oh, yeah. Come on. He's right there. I see that damn book. It's... Where'd it go? Where'd you go, damn book? Oh, there you go. I see you. Don't you run from me. That's the last book. Okay, Cressida. You know what? I don't want to read no more of that. <laughs> Ravelli. Nope. Everything I need. Let's get on out of the library, baby. Let's go talk to Cressida, baby. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. I'm not a prick. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. I read a little bit, baby. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, I read a little bit, baby. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why. Yeah, I bet, bitch. Anyway, let's see. Quest, let's see those keys, and then you need a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go here. And then, I should be able to flu flame. Oh no, that's not where I'm going at all. Right here. What's up, y'all? Future champion coming through. Oh shit. Uh, hello, Lucan. And... No, 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 the dummy. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Yeah, bitch. That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Gotcha. Accio, fire, and oh wait, hold on. Let me change, uh, here we go. This to that. Yeah. So I need... Accio. Booyah. Incendio. Booyah. Booyah, bitch. Good one. You damn right. Levioso, three hits and Accio. Yeah, we are, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, we got Accio. No. Oh, no. All right, let's start over. Let's go. Let everything zoom back on up. Where the fuck are you going, bitch? Can you hit me? Don't you hit me, bitch? Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Booyah! 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 Booyah, bitch! <laughs> Alright. You don't gotta go that fast. Give your magic some time to recharge. Gotcha. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. Other duelists had better beware. They better. We are motherfucker. Spell combinations finish. All right, here we go. Level twelve. Hell yeah. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. 
the moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? Uh, yeah, motherfucker. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Uh, let me get, uh, Sebastian up here. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. Let me get we Sebastian. We can make this a real victory. The end, uh... Oh, a cute little, uh, huff puff. Championship round, let's go. Break through red shields with red. Gotcha. Bitch, booyah, booyah, booyah. No. Bitch. Booyah, 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 bitch. Uh-uh. Bitch. See? Come here. Booyah, booyah, booyah. Bitch. Block that. Block that. Uh, block that, bitch. Booyah, bitch. Booyah, booyah, booyah. Booyah, bitch. Come here, bitch. Bitch. Protego, bitch. Fight that bitch. Sorry, Huff Puff, bitch. I don't think so, bitch. I don't think so, bitch. Booyah, 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 booyah. Booyah, 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 booyah. Hiya. 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 Adioso, bitch. Booyah, booyah, booyah. Booyah. Can you see? Grab that. Bitch. Who else wants some? Who else in here wants some? This motherfucker right here? Booyah, booyah, booyah. 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 Let's go, bitch. Booyah, bitch. Who else in here wants some? Who the fuck else in here wants some? Watch this. Booyah, bitch. <laughs> so big hit, that round. You damn right. I ain't take no damage. What a victory! You've won the tournament! I'm Duel Masters Champion? It's an honor. I got lucky. I'm just getting started. It's an honor. I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! My grandfather? And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Stupid little boy. Looking out, uh, little homie. Oh shit, that's closed. See, can I talk to you real quick? The best duelist won, I suppose. Oh, thank you, little bitch. Shame it's over. I was just getting started. Oh, that's right, little Nelly Augspire. Can I talk to Nelly again? Could you remind me how the Dedalian keys work? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. When you spot or hear, I hope you follow some. I will. That's right, that's right. That's still level locked. Uh, ain't a damn thing through there. Rebellion. Just this thing again that I can't do. Wait, 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 what's this? Oh, never mind. Never motherfucking mind. That's closed. Uh... You know what? Let me check out my gear real quick. I feel like I got something. Ooh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Check out my challenges first. It's just this. Let's see. Ooh. I'll grab those. Not yet. I want that sweater. I want that sweater. Okay, nothing in there. Uh, Phil Guy Pages. Uh... That's pretty trash. Nothing in there. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Let's go back. What's in my inventory? What's new in my inventory? Not a damn thing. Anyway. Gear. I've got some new glasses. Whoa. Some nice glasses too. I hate the way they look. So I'm going to take them off again. 
Let's see, no wand handle. Oh, I like that. You know, I like that. Oh, the scarf, way better. I'll throw that on. And then we'll change the way it looks back to that old Gryffindor. Do I still have the same robes? Yep. Can I change the way my robe looks at all? What's this one? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> that was that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put that back on. Good lord. What an ugly ass robe. That's all the same thing. That's that. I don't really give a fuck about that. Uh, Hats are all the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, shit. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go to my quest. I don't care about that. Professor Simons. Let's see. Successfully avoid enemy attacks by dodging and rolling. Okay, so just do those. Okay, just fucking do those. Gotcha. Find those keys for Nelly. I'll come back to those. Let me... Let me attend potions class, and then I'll go talk to uh, Natty. I'll do potions first. Which is way the fuck over here. Which means I should get to this building here. And then go to this one here. Whoops. You look completely incompetent, which oh. he is. Look at this motherfucking... Is that Dobby? What up, Dobby? That's that cute little huff puff. All right. Let's check out potions class. You got me sitting on the floor yet again. Who the fuck is this? Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. Adam Driver. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. For sure. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. I'm not gonna lie, so far since I've been playing this game, I have not needed a fucking potion at all. But I do have it Use on easy. A strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. There you go. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. There you go. There you go, I'm here cooking that crack. There you go big spoon some people might call it a ladle <laughs> I'm the flyest motherfucker up in here I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir hmm. not an easy potion to brew well done. Thank you, Adam and Driver. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Jay Good. Pippins. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain. And will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Got you. Who is this? Professor Sharp said that Wiganwell. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Shut the hell up. My Wiganwell potion's utter rubbish. 
Wish I could just replace it with one from J. Pippins. From J. Pippins. Mm -hmm. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Gotcha. Revelio. Some shit back there. Hold on. Let me first check this out. What was this? I see this money. We had dent one monies. That's all that was worth. One money. Proficiency and potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Accio. Let me also. I mean, Rebellion. That's obviously something right there, right? I'm not blind. That's the professor. There we go. I'll grab this page. I'll grab this page. There we go. Only 10 more. All right, there's nothing in here. Talk to old girl. Fine job brewing your first Wiccan Weld potion. Thank you, Samantha there Dale. There are many potions yet to learn. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Yeah. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Hmm. You know what? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll get you the Fooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. You know what? Might as well. Prepared, which Damn, look at that thing. Mongrel fur? What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? I'll take that. What the fuck is in here? Can I... Incendio. No? I mean, that's obviously something, right? Hmm. Perks has increased the amount of activity, given what we know, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Still at, oh, black finger gloves. I can dig it. Then, fupa feather. Gotcha. Let me see what these black finger gloves do real quick. Are they better? They are, shit. I'll rock the black fingers for now. You know what, no, 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 no. Get my red boys. Yeah. Ocean stations organized and free of clutter. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. For sure. Bro, you are lucky that you are a Weasley, and I know your uh, auntie. Should you chop the Didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. <laughs> All right. We can weld. No, here we go. A potion that enhances the drinker's defense by covering them with a durable rocky skin. Okie dokie. I got 28 seconds. Okay. Uh, I'll skip. And there we go. I'll take that. Sweet. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Of course. Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it! Get it! Oh! Get it! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> well done, Garrett. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Ah. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Ah. See? Hey. 
Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. I don't. Wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was rather brilliant, though. I'd better clean up. You should finish brewing your potion if you haven't already. You know what? I'm not sure if I like that guy. <laughs> He's kind of a dumbass. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. Thanks, Kylo. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. For sure. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. No, not him no more. I'm not talking to that guy no more. Revelio. Alright, I'm pretty sure that's everything in here. This dumbass. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Mm, galleons. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. That Weasley boy is kind of a dipshit. Over there. No. All right, what's the guy want? I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wigan Weld potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. Uh, pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. Uh, Professor Sharp seemed to disagree. I was relieved. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. <laughs> a fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. See you soon, no doubt. Okey fucking dokey. Revelio. Uh, I can go down? What's down? Stress the way out. Oh, chest. Perfect vest uniform. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Not a damn thing. And that's level locked. All right. Let's go. Wait. Keep pressing the wrong button. Professor Simons, no. Let's go. Fuck with my girl, Natty. I'll post. I got nothing there. Okay. Natty will be way the fuck over yonder? Really? Damn, okay. So let me... Uh, shit, I think I'm just running over there. Can I go here? No. Fuck, okay. Let me... I'm not in school anymore. Let me... I brought that collection. Gear, there we go. Let me change this robe. Or at least the way the robe looks. Uh, to nothing? Yeah, let's put that on nothing. New outfit in here. Oh, it's locked. It's locked. <laughs> anyway, let me see. I can do that. 
I can have that one. That one's not bad. That's pretty trash. I'm not a pirate, like... Like, that looks like a character from, like, Treasure Planet. You know what I mean? I'll throw that back on. I'll put that one back on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, let's go say what's up to Natty. This is going to be a hell of a run, boy. This is going to be a hell of a run. Handy resource indeed. You're you know what? This run's gonna be so long, I think I'm gonna go ahead and clip it. I will see you beautiful people once I get close. Oh, hey, is that the fucking Quidditch field? Hold the phone, that's fucking Quidditch over there. Hold on. I know Quidditch when I see Quidditch. Hey, I know fucking Quidditch when I see Quidditch. Hold on. on hey, 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 hey. Now that's fucking dope. That's fucking dope. All right. Stop being distracted. There's something down here. What the fuck is this down here? I see something red over there. What's that red over there? Is that a, is that a gator? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. What's this place? Woo. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll light Inside that on fire. I'll light that on fire. Okay, now I'm supposed to put that on fire. Accio. Can't accio it. Oh, I was pulling it, for sure, for sure. Let me see. In your ass. In your ass. Nice. Oh, fuck. What's in there? <laughs> Damn it. Uh, hold on, Natty. Hold on, Natty. I should investigate. You damn right I should. Hold on, Natty. Revelio. Who's the chest back there? Lumos. Thank you. Is it just a chest? Oh, we got a nice little Gryffindor scarf. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I like it. Yes, yeah, very prestigious. Rebellion. Okay, nothing in there. Let me see what this Gryffindor scarf looks like. They want to give it to me. So they want to give it to me. It does the same amount. What does it look like though? Nah. That one for show. Then this new hat. The hat's a lot better. And it is. What does that look like? No, I look like fucking Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> Where the can go at? There you go. The Kango ain't much better, but at least it looks like a fucking baseball cap. Anyway. See, where, that fuck, where the fuck that gator at? Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. Come here, bitch. Think I don't see you, bitch? Think I don't fucking see you, bitch? Bitch. Incendio. Hang out, see you, bitch. You motherfucking right. You motherfucking right. Think I'm scared of a motherfucking dug bug or whatever the fuck that thing is called? Alright. That was cool. There's Hogwarts right there. There goes some other shit. That's where the train come in. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck is that? What's that random guy? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Might I beseech you for some assistance? What up, Grace? Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath, Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, 
I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Huh. Should I know who your family are? You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Good lord, this bitch is such a mark for herself. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm. Hmm. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. Schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. Hmm. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It uh. sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Northeast of the dock. Hiya! Oh, are you someone with one hand, dipshit? There you go. What the hell are you doing? Dive into the black lake and find the astrolabe. I'm in the water with my sweater on. Time to get it on. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Oh, a teal scarf. I can dig it. Oh, some more dapper shit. I can dig it. I'm guessing it's these little things right here. Oh, some fucking robes. I can dig it. Oh, a weak ass scarf. I can dig it. There it is. That Wigan Weld and that Astrolabe. All right, let's get the I fuck out of here. I Grace know that I found her family Astrolabe. Gotta swim back to Grace. Give this right to her in her face. Astrolabe. Maybe I, in my fifth year, can get laid by the Slytherin little lady. Uh, get up 
to the docks. Steady, uh, uh, swimming in my sweater, baby. Shut up, bitch. I can't jump up here? That's stupid. Alright, let's get on up here. We are. On up here, we are. What up, Grace? Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. You're welcome. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Hey, thank you, little bitch. I got a weak ass mermaid mask. Who cares about that? See, there's a. Hold on. I see there is another side quest over there. <sighs> It is good to see you, my friend. It is, Natty, it is. Hold on, let me see if I can change my clothes. Because I'm pretty sure I got some new clothes. I got a new scarf. That's trash. Wait, what about this one? That one's better. That one's trash. Yes, I'll put that on. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, is that a dragon? I fuck with the dragon, even though it's blue. Let me see. I got a new shirt in here. And it's still locked. Come on. Level what? 13? I'm almost at level 13, damn it. Anyway, got a new robe. Uh, you know what? I like that. It ain't red for Gryffindor, but I like that. It goes with the dragon. I'll come in here and change this then. Whoops. To. Yeah! Pirate Island, bitch. Treasure Planet, bitch. And uh, let me change the gloves then. Uh, what the hell does that look like? Maybe. What about that? What about that? Ugh. All black fingers? I'll go all black fingers. I'll go all black fingers. I like that. For sure. Challenges. I got something unlocked in here. What's this? Oh, okay. Oh, that's the fucking, uh, the shit to put on the clothes. What's this? Okay, 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 okay. Got you. Got you. All right, Natty. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. I can't say, baby. Oh, I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing the Hogwarts student so intently. Yeah. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. What? You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibililand. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. I'm glad to hear it. This could be dangerous. Nah, I'm glad to hear it. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true. But shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? Yeah. <laughs> I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. 
I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Thank you, Natty. Natty, you are such a good friend. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay. Is there any way for me to figure out what the fuck's going on here? What? What's this? Skipping stones like a dork. Help the stranger. Stranger. I never thought Rebellion would go this far. You see? Can I pop this chest? Hold on. Thank you. Ooh, a black one. Hold on, let me help the stranger. Hold on. Stranger. They must have come this way. Think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a dog shit nip back your time. <laughs> Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <laughs> no. Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid. That's right, bitch. You come to the wrong place. That's right, bitch. Dumb fucking bitch. Stupefy, bitch. Fuck out of here. Oh no. Who the fuck is this? I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Oh shit, okay. The collection sections of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. I do not care. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy it. Bitch! I'm going anywhere. Take a bitch. Bitch. Fuck out of here. Come here, bitch. Bitch. Come here, bitch. Go five, bitch. Let me see. Punk bitch. It's fucking war. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Right? Speak with the stranger. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Uh, who is Priya? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioner. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Huh. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Hmm, I thought Merlin was a myth, bitch. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Merlin was a Slytherin. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. 
but I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. By your tent? Oh. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Okay. I have the Mallow Sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Yeah. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okie dokie then. Oh shit. My word. Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? This is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendium. Obviously. The flames make the pyre sink. Obviously, little bitch. We are. That all of it? Oh shit. A gazebo. We made a gazebo! What a day! I can hardly believe it. <laughs> I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Thank you, little lesbia. See? I do that in there. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> okay. Revelio. Got a damn thing to Revelio. I see some more chests. Got a fish. It is. Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. The fuck the ghost one with me? I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would come this far. I'm looking for these chests. Hold on, hold on. Wonder who lives here. I know, huh? Can't get in there. Uh, I see some right here. What's this right here? Yoink. Thank you very much. I'll take those 66 cents. Hop on over that. Open that up. Thank you very much. Is this a shop? Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Uh, Matthew, your wares. Any rumors going about? Who are you? What do you sell? Any rumors? Any whispers going about the town? You may have noticed we have a bit of a rivalry with Upper Hogsfield. I haven't. Not much to it, but we're still the better of the two Hogsfields. <laughs> better than most other places, too. Uh, okay. Uh, who are you? Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. And I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. My price is low enough already, you see. Ha 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 ha. Uh, nothing comes to mind. That will be all. Thank you for your time. I don't need any potions right now. 
Uh, I can't get inside. Can I light this? Incendio. I cannot. All right, let's talk to this dude then. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would- Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. <laughs> Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Oh, no, no, no. Has this happened before? Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. Uh, are you a painter? You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. Aww. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. For sure. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Me too, little dog. Whoa, that's far as fuck. Let me see. Gear. Oh yeah, I got this new wine handle. Let me see what that looks like. That's one I already have. What's this one? That all black thing. Oh, I like that. So I got that all black thing. That's the red version of that. And that's got the little owl on the end i like that little owl little planet purple dildo i like that one i'm gonna rock that one i still ain't got no broom or no flying mount uh did i unlock the scarf i should have unlocked that scarf right or was it not a scarf i was unlocking something in here right yeah that's all right huh i like the way that looked so I'll put that on, sha sha sha, and I'll change the way that looks, a sha sha sha. And then this thing right here, yeah yeah yeah. I'll make that look. What's that one? I uh, can't really do nothing with that. OG Hogwarts. Put this fucking cape on. <laughs> Put nothing on. You know what? I'll put nothing on. Nothing on. No scarf neither. There you go. Now that's a bruiser. That's a bruiser. Let me see. With the fedora? Oh, definitely not. I look like a fucking, <laughs> fucking Fallout Boy fan. No, thank you. Even though I do like Fallout Boy. All right. Let's see. Quest. Wait, challenges? What's up in here? Exploration, almost, okay. Combat, almost, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to my quest. What's my next quest? Carted away, yeah. That, professor assignments, and the hunt for the missing pages. Speak to nearly headless Nick. For show. Sure. Uh, you know what? I think that might be a good place to end this. I think that might be a good place to end this. So, 
I guess next uh, next video we'll start off looking for that guy's fucking uh, shit in that goblin camp down there. Good lord. But yeah, for sure, we'll end it right here. See you guys next time. Peace.